get on here and my intro is going to be me singing. But when I was practicing in front of Shane, he said, you want them to stay for the whole video. <laughs> so scratch that. <laughs> Y'all know I can't do an intro without singing. So I got to sing a little bit. Today's video is super special. Are we decorating for Halloween? No. Are we decorating for Thanksgiving? We should be. So what are we doing? Christmas decorate! Christmas decorate! Christmas decorate, yeah! <laughs> Cammy has been saying Christmas decorate for a solid month. Wow. So we're gonna get on it, dag on it. We are going to move a lot of stuff around because Shane thinks the tree will look really pretty in front of that window right there. So in order to get it in front of that window, well the couch is right there, we're going to have to do a lot of moving around. We already plan to move a lot of the furniture out of here and into other rooms just for the Christmas season. So we were already planning on moving stuff around anyway. Let's do the daggone thing. But first to get the house smelling super festive, we're going to do this grand cinnamon roll hack. So I shared a picture of this on Instagram and y'all were like, Marina, you're baking? What? And I was like sending y'all the little shh emoji. I was like, y'all, it's a hack. <laughs> it's still canned biscuits, basically. <laughs> All you gotta do is put the grands, they have to be the grands for this to work, in a casserole dish. Put one cup of heavy whipping cream, mix up some melted butter, some cinnamon, and some brown sugar. Pour over the entire thing. You're gonna then cover it with aluminum foil. Cook it on whatever the can says to cook it on for about 55 minutes. Once you pull it out, it is going to look so big. Like they they soak up all of the heavy whipping cream and like expand, you know, won't <laughs> we all expand whenever we soak up the heavy whipping cream? This is what they're gonna look like when you pull them out. They're gonna be super fluffy. You just take whatever icing came with your cinnamon rolls. Mine came with the cream cheese. I would definitely suggest the cream cheese. It is banging. You just pour it over top, then you cut those suckers up and you have your set a great value fearfully created Cinnabon cinnamon roll at this point so good we'll probably never make the cinnamon rolls basic out of the can ever again because it's too simple too easy it does take a while to cook so it does require a little bit of patience but it is so worth it Shane really wanted the tree in front of that window, like I told you guys. So we started out by moving all of this stuff around. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know that changes always happen. Plans always change. In this house, 99% of the time a decision is not made because we are all equally indecisive. Oh my gosh. Bum, 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 bum. Ah. This is the last time I hang under this. Uh, about a few months ago. I've been looking for that. Don't roast me like that on camera. <laughs> it was probably for the best <laughs> that we moved everything around the way that we did because underneath these things that stay in this one place for a really long time, I never move this dresser. I rarely ever move my couch. It gets really dirty under there. This is like 2020 style fearfully created. We kind of stepped back into 2020. We kind of time warped back a little bit, but I will say Honestly, the 2020 Marina couch, if y'all remember, my couch was a landfill. It wasn't near as bad as it was, but this does remind me of, of, of good times. Good times, right? None of us thought that the couch looked good when it was on the opposite wall. We had tried it before, so I don't even really know why we tried it again. I was just trying to make it work for how the kids and Shane wanted it in here, but we came to the decision as a unit that we just wanted it in front of a window. It didn't matter what window, we just wanted it in front of a window. So it still required moving the furniture around a little bit, but we were able to move everything back to where it sort of was. It wasn't exactly how it was, but it looked good. Did we take a time warp back to old Fearfully Created, like 2020 Fearfully Created? That's what my couch used to look like all the time. Actually, that's actually a mild case of what my couch used to look like. Plans have changed, as they always take do. Take two. Oh, 
Now, I ain't no Christmas tree decorator or professional, but I just started out with the big picks and the medium sized picks, the picks that I made and the picks that I bought. And then I went in with ribbon and then we went in with our ornaments. I did specialized ornaments, our normal ornaments, our yearly ornaments, along with candy themed ornaments because I didn't just want this tree to be a candy themed tree. I want those ornaments that are special to me to be on there too. A lot of the ornaments on this tree are actually from you guys too. So it makes it extra special. I also don't decorate the tree by myself. That is a family thing. I want my kids very involved in that. But as for everything else, I kind of do it by myself independently. Um, just because they're not really interested. Once the ornaments are put up, they don't really care no more <laughs> until it's done. We all need more. Chicken with Dollar Tree. Daddy. Look, somebody done smudged their fingers on my ornament. They were impatient and they smudged it. This is what my crafts look this like. This was out for you, Clarice. <laughs> this is what my crafts look like right here. <laughs> when heart and soul. really easy to get uh, caught up in the aesthetics of Christmas decorating and stuff but stuff like this one of you guys made Binks and Tater these ornaments my kiddos specialized ornaments ornaments that don't have anything to do Shane literally put a leg lamp <laughs> ornament on this tree those are the things that make the tree special because it has little parts of each of us the kiddos get to pick out their favorite character every year and we write their name on it in the year you guys saw my little gingerbread house key that was my my specialized ornament from last year so like it just is a little bit of everything and that's what makes it really really special it has a little bit of us a little bit of you guys on it and some of my best YouTube friends have sent me ornaments over the past two years it has them on it too pride myself in calling myself the master maker of scent concoctions and this concoction smelled so good it was flannel by cozy me candles uh country holiday by mainstays and then winter by cozy me candles it smelled so good y'all like it got all the christmas feels up in the house
I'm doing the ribbon on this little pencil tree the same way I did it on the big tree. It's just a hack thing I found on TikTok one day while scrolling. It's literally just a tuck and bubble method, but you don't do it diagonally around the tree. You just do it straight down. Where'd you get that from? Emma. See? Emma, <laughs> how sweet for you. That's pretty, ain't it? For a little yeah, tree? I like it. Very pretty. So this is a tree that we got this year. It's just like a little, what, four foot tree? I'm five foot, so it's probably like four foot tree. It comes with lights on it already. It's got these cute little like holly berries and it's lightly, what do y'all say? Flocked? Fought. Flocked. 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 It's lightly flocked, especially compared to our main tree, which is super flocked. This one's lightly flocked, though. It's like little crystals and stuff. Got this on sale 60% off at Hobby Lobby. You, you realize um, our trees match uh, Goldilocks and Three Bears? Somebody <laughs> flocked my tree superly. <laughs> Somebody flocked my tree mediumly. <laughs> what tree is this, Shane? So they always ask what the tree kind is. Needle pine. This is the needle pine. How high? The needle pine. The needle pine. How tall is <laughs> it? saying it like the brand. This is the Martha Stewart. How tall is it? Yeah, 4.5. So four okay, and a half foot. This is four and a half foot needle pine from Hobby Lobby this year. I can't remember what kind that is. And then the skinny tree over here is from Hobby Lobby as well. All the trees are from Hobby Lobby and I always get them when they're like 60% off. Uh, it does have some sparse areas. It's exactly. definitely not to the comparison of my big tree, which was a huge investment. That's the first Christmas, actual Christmas tree that we ever really spent a lot of money on. We usually just got them at like Fred's and stuff. That was like a big deal for us. This one is adorable, but it is sparse. So you would have to get some like fillers if you wanted to really fill it out. But we're just gonna use this in the back of the hallway. Adorable. They're straight up having that is cool. I don't care who you are, that's cool. I told y'all about 
how I was looking for specific gingerbread things that a friend of ours sent me a picture of from the dollar store and one of y'all found two of them and I'm in love. You can find these at the dollar store for a dollar a piece and I like screamed whenever I opened this package earlier. I'm going to put these up here. Look Thanks how so. cute. Beautiful. That's Perfect. You I really wanted my bookcase over here because I wanted it to showcase all my gingerbread stuff because I'm going with like the gingerbread candy theme look and I love the way it came out. I like how the gingerbread are like all one color and then in my kitchen you guys will see I have a darker set of gingerbread stuff. So like this one's more like the sugary kind of gingerbread and the one in the kitchen is like this rich brown bright red and bright green kind of traditional Christmas colors. Shane was going to put his Christmas village on the bottom shelf of the entryway, but I wanted him to put it over here because I really wanted people to see it when they walked in. He was super proud of it last year and he's added to it this year and I wanted him to be able to show it off. That's from Halloween. I was at a harvest festival here in a town near me and I heard someone holler my name and I was like, who is that? And it was actually one of our friends from the channel. So I met them, saw that they made gorgeous wreaths and had to buy one. I love it so much. I walk by and every time I walk by, I admire the heck out of it because she did such a great job with it. It's actually the reason I decided to go with gingerbread stuff this year. So thanks to her, my house looks like a gingerbread Candyland Wonderland. This mat was another thing from one of our friends. I opened it while I was on live the other day and I had a fit over it because the colors went perfectly with what I was doing in my living room. The minute we put these beams up that I wanted a garland on this come Christmas time. I didn't go buy a ton of garland. I actually used two different kinds of garland, but you can't really tell once the lights are on. We hung them with those little things that you saw. They're kind of like command hooks, but they were only like two bucks or something for a two pack of them. I hung up this gingerbread picture that Shane made me right here because I wanted people to walk in and see that. Let me call you a cat. Standing in the front yard telling me how I'm such a fool Talking about I'm never ever find a man like you Yeah, I made a saying you must not know about me Y'all are welcome for that free concert I can't have another you in a minute And in fact, we'll be here in a minute 
I wanted the things that really brought him joy this year to be the focal point of the house. So like he was all on board for the candy thing, but I wanted his painting to be a focal point. I wanted his village to be a focal point, just so that when you walk in here, you know it's not all me, like it's all of us together. Look at that little booger right there. Look at that little booger. Just watching me, all relaxed. <laughs> all the Christmas trees on, just chilling. 365 chances of the year To try to make it right, you have to see it clear. We all need a helping hand to put our things aside. Time to take a stand with our eyes open wide. Maybe when we have the very best of you. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time for us. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Don't you know? Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time for us. Oh, it's time. Here's another set. <laughs> why do you guys love us so much? I ask myself that every day. I'm like, why do they love us so much? It just don't make sense. The math ain't mathing. These bags are what we're going to wrap all the breakables with. You don't have to. This is 300 clear mini lights. What can we do with these? Nothing. We can do something with these. We can't. We line the perimeter with these. Huh? We line the perimeter with these. Of oh, the kitchen? Yeah. With what? These. With what? Tax. I don't have enough. Yeah, I have a whole other set in the homeschool. Oh, where are they at? In the homeschool thing. I have like literally four things of those. Should we line the whole perimeter of our house? I feel like that's super festive. Just keep it warm in there during the winter. Yeah, we'll keep it warm in here during the winter. More taxing on the uh, electric bill. Heat or lots? Heat or just a bunch of lots. <laughs> a bunch of Christmas lots. I wish that my laundry room, the outside of it, was at least uh, finished. At that least my nine foot extension cord will be of use now. I ain't, no, I ain't trying. It's, it's even... Well, lay it up there and we're going to see what it looks like. My do Lord, or do right? not? Yes, there is. Here, lay it up there and pretend that we're putting it up there. Do or do not? There is no try. Ooh! Wait, that's super cute. Wait, let me see. I can't see because your arm. Well, can we set it on top at least so we can't see them? Get that $3 sticker off of What? Where? On the little one you spit. Wait, it has a $3 sticker? I didn't even <laughs> notice that. Man, I pay such bad attention to me.
preferred to have a lot more red on the kitchen table or just some sort of color. But by the time I got done with the living room and what all I did in there, I didn't have a whole lot to bring in here. I thought I would have more, but I, I didn't. So I was trying to work with what I had and I just used the bottom of this tear tray, a Christmas tree I had from last year, some garland I got from Hobby Lobby. And I was gonna try to put this Believe sign on there and then, so that it would have some sort of red, but I couldn't and then Shane <laughs> comes in <laughs> and is trying to put it every which way he actually even tries to put it on the chandelier to see if I like it there but it just wouldn't work so I just ended up going with a super simple centerpiece for the table and I kind of like it that way it kind of doesn't take too much from my accent wall and my wooden door which I like like those are still what you see when you walk in here and it's not overpowered by a bunch of color so I'm not so mad at it probably won't change it if I do add anything else to the kitchen I don't have any intentions on doing that but if I do it'll probably be some garland on top of the cabinets because I think they're lacking in that area. Okay, y'all ready to see the end result? I am in love. Like, I, Shane and I have just been standing in here, like, looking around and being like, is this our house? Like, we look like we, like, live in the North Pole or something. <laughs> I'm not going to go into detail about everything that I got and where I got it from. I'll do that in the home tour because this is just really kind of a part one. Not really, but like I'm doing my house in sections. Because you'll see that I start in the living room because that's the main area I wanted to focus on. And then I slowly moved to the dining room and kitchen. So by the time I got to the dining room and kitchen, I was kind of running out of things to put in places. Like I didn't have as much as I thought I did, which surprisingly I thought I was gonna have too much but I didn't have enough to like do what I wanted to do in the living room and then carry it on and do the same thing in the dining room and the kitchen but I'm not gonna add any more to the dining room and kitchen because I kind of like how simple it looks it looks very clean and that's a big change from in here in the living room which looks very um is this that flea market look when y'all was telling me about if it is, I'm digging it. Sign me up for a booth. I'm, I'm digging it. <laughs> but I will go into detail about where I got the things and everything in my home tour after I get done decorating the house. This video is just the main living area, dining room, kitchen, living room, and hallway. And then I'm going to go in and do some cute little things in the kids' bathroom in a video coming up. And then I'm also going to decorate our room for the first time ever for Christmas in a video coming up. So once I get the whole house decorated, we'll go back in, do a home tour, and I'll explain where I got everything if you do really really like something though ask me in the comments and I will let you know where I got it but as far as like going around and showing you piece by piece I'll leave that for the home tour y'all your girl is tired you tired right now all right let me show you the house waking up next to you we'll be sharing our secrets making dreams come true let's have a toast for the love of us we'll tumble around in the snow my heart's going boom, boom, boom. You're so beautiful. What a night. Can you feel it too? Girl, I won't let you go. When the sky comes alive, let's have a jolly holiday. Holiday. Let's have a jolly holiday. Holiday. Yeah. Haven't seen you. My feelings are so strong How I miss your face Let's have a toast for the love of us We'll tumble brown in the snow And my heart's going boom, boom, boom You're so beautiful Talking on the phone, I make you feel at home. Oh, when I got you by my side, what a night! Jolly.
just want to have a holiday, yeah, yeah, let's have a jolly holiday. I'm also going to add some footage in here of what it looks like when all the lots but the Christmas lots are off in here. It is so <laughs> daggone cozy. I will say the lighting on the camera, it gives a green hue around the lots and it doesn't really look like that. And I even tried different settings and like light settings and stuff in it and it just didn't do it justice. The camera never does stuff like this justice. But when you walk in the house, you smell the Christmas smells, you see the lights, it's warm in here, the fireplace is on, it gives the coziest. I think this is the honestly the coziest our house has ever felt. I don't think I can ever remember a time where I walked in my house from the porch and just went, wow. Like my house is always cozy, but I was like, wow. I'm so excited to get the rest of the house decorated. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope this gave you some inspiration. Even if you're not decorating for Christmas yet and you're waiting until after Thanksgiving, I hope if you're doing this sort of thing, you come back to this video and it can give you some inspiration, maybe a few ideas if that. I'll tell you one thing, it feels the coziest in here right now. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed morning, even night, whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Jesus is the reason for the season. I'll see y'all later.